Ever since I was born, I was dope. What's going on, movie lovers all over the world? You already know it. it's your boy, Mikey Savage 21, a.k.a. Testify to the Music, bringing you another movie review. And today, I am so happy to be reviewing the film Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. This has got to be one of the most underrated comedies that has came out so far this year. I think it only stayed in theaters maybe less than four or five weeks, which is crazy and I actually had to catch this out AMC on like the last day of showing and everything because I mean you know people are just sleeping on this film and what's so sad about it it's so funny and it's so creative of course you got the Lonely Island cast here uh, with Andy Samberg being at the front and then you have just this the most hilarious cameos that come throughout. You have DJ Khaled who shows up in a few scenes. You have guys like Usher, ASAP Rocky, Snoop Dogg, Mariah Carey, Miley Cyrus, Justin Bieber even makes a cameo in this. I mean, you have all of these superstars coming in and cameoing in this movie. And then what I love about it, it's just so creative, it's so fun, it's so free. And Andy Samberg and, and the rest of the Only Island cast, they're not afraid to be themselves. They're not afraid to be outrageous, goofy, and silly That because that's just who they are. So I really appreciated this. I can honestly say I haven't laughed this hard in a very long time, not at least since Deadpool, because Deadpool had me laugh on every single thing that Ryan Reynolds said out of his mouth. And it was the same thing here with Andy Samberg. All right, so getting into the plot of what this is, pretty much you have Connor Farrell, who's played by Andy Samberg. His character, along with the character uh, played by the respective members from Lonely Island, what they do is they are essentially in this group called the Styles Boys, and they blow up big. They have these really awesome, unique songs like the Lonely Island has. And what eventually happens is Connor is contacted to do this solo feature and his buddy Lawrence wrote the verse for him and it was so unique and so creative and so interesting that he ended up getting an award for it and what happened was Connor didn't give him credit for it um, so that eventually the Styles Boys ends up breaking up Lawrence leaves and goes off to do his own thing and then his buddy Owen stays with Connor and they continue to make music together except Connor has now changed his name to Connor for real and he has now become like a big superstar and he eventually starts doing this mockumentary which goes through his life and talks about all of his teammates and who he hangs out with and what he does and his writing process and etc etc and then from there the antics start to ensue but really that's pretty much it the premise is really simple it's easy to follow again I can't stress enough how hilarious it is there isn't much of nudity in here, so if you're not a fan of nudity, I think you only have like maybe two instances of nudity. I won't give those away because that would be getting into spoiler territory, but it's not that much nudity. Cursing is not too, too much in here. Uh, a few of the songs have curse words in them, um, but if you've heard the soundtrack, you kind of already know that by now. But I gotta say, this has gotta be the one of the most underrated slept on films. Again, like, if you're into music and I love, like, music uh, and you someday have aspirations of maybe being a pop star or being out in the forefront, whether it's touring or performing on stage in front of um, thousands to millions of people, then you're going to like this film. And it's kind of going to give you a little bit of a drive and a little bit of spark. I'm not going to lie to you. I actually feel like jumping on a beat right now and just kicking a mad freestyle and releasing it tonight. This, this this got me so energized, and this is going to sound weird in the review, but I haven't been this energized music-wise since I saw Beyond the Lights. Because, again, that was about music and what goes on behind the scenes. And so you had MGK's character in there, Kid Culprit, who was doing his thing. And I'm not going to lie, he kicked some mad, mad, mad flows in there. And it just kind of got me pumped. And the same thing here. Andy Sandberg and the Lonely Island, they know how to throw out some incredible raps. They know how to throw out some witty ones and some funny ones as well. I actually had to buy this soundtrack. So as far as a rating goes, 
I'm gonna have to give this a four out of five. I mean, as much as I did love it and as funny as it was and how much I excited and how much I'm raving and ranting about how much I love it, there were still a few little things in there as far as story-wise goes. It does fall off at certain points. There are certain slow points at the film. Uh, it did become a little too predictable. You know, as a mockumentary, you can kind of tell what was going to happen next. And if you watch the trailer, the trailer does give away a lot. So I recommend going into this fresh, not watching the trailer. If it's still playing at your local theater. I know here at mine, it's not really playing anymore. So if you get a chance to catch it when it comes out on DVD, make sure... You go check it out. I mean, it's definitely worth your viewing time. I highly recommend it. Again, if you're into mockumentaries, you're into comedy, and you have a love for music and wants to know more about what goes on behind the scenes besides what we see in the media and whatnot, and again, just get some hilarious antics going on in here, then I highly recommend you check out the film. Pop star, never stop, never stopping. You definitely won't regret it. It definitely earns its 4 out of 5 score for me. But let me know in the comment section what you thought of this movie. Did you like it? Have you seen it yet? If you haven't seen it yet, do you plan to get it when it comes available on iTunes? Or do you plan to buy the actual Blu-ray DVD? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below. Also, before I forget, make sure you smash that like button as well. It helps out the channel immensely. Also, make sure you keep on subscribing to this channel. I will bring you the latest movie reviews. I will actually have another movie review up possibly tomorrow. If not tomorrow, definitely on Friday. But hey, I'm testified to the music, a.k.a. Mikey Savage 21, saying peace out. And go watch Pop Star Never Stop Never Stopping. You will laugh uncontrollably and probably poop your pants. That is all.